let's take our next question that is question number 43 now the question you see belongs to chapter electromagnetic waves in here a parallel plate capacitor of capacitance 20 microfarad is being charged by a voltage source whose potential is changing at a rate of 3 volt per second the conduction current through the connecting wires and the displacement current through the plates of the capacitor would be respectively right now in here the very most important thing is let's start with the solution first capacitance is given as 20 microfarad right then the voltage change rate is 3 volt per second now the conduction current here can be simply written as ic is equals to dq by dt and as you are aware that q is equals to cv in this case and c is constant so we can write it as like this so ic will become 20 into 10 to power minus 6 and dv by dt is given as 3 so ic is equals to 60 micro ampere and in here between the plates of capacitor you are also aware that ic would be equal to a displacement current that would be 60 micro amperes so let's see which is the best suited option among the four options given to us yes option number two would be the right answer to this question now let's move on to our next question that is question number 44 the question you see here belongs to chapter units and measurement as per the question, in an experiment, the percentage of error occurred in the measurement of physical quantities A, B, C and D are 1%, 2%, 3% and 4% respectively. Then the maximum percentage of error in measurement of X, if it is having this relation, will be. So, let's start with the solution. So, you will be writing percentage error of X can be given as delta x upon x into 100 that would be equals to I'll take 100 as a common later on 2 into delta a by a plus half into delta b by b plus 1 by 3 delta c by c plus 3 into delta d by d and whole should be multiplied with 100 right now when you put down the values you already are aware of the percentage errors of a b c and d the percentage error of x would be equal to 2 into 1 percent plus half into 2 percent plus one third of 3 percent plus 3 into 4 percent solving this you will get error as 16 percent so percentage error in x would be 16 percent so option number two is the right answer to this question now friends in our journey we have reached to the last question of this paper let's see this question this question you see belongs to chapter of moving charges and magnetism here a cylindrical conductor of radius r is carrying a constant current the plot of the magnitude of magnetic field B with the distance D from the center of the conductor is correctly represented by the figure. So before coming to the options, let's see the basic first. So I have already made one diagram for you. Let's start with the solution. So this is the circular conductor in which the current is moving in upward direction. Let's take a random distance small d from here. This is the point P where we want to find the magnetic field and the radius of this is capital R, right? So at any point inside the magnetic field, let's take at point inside the conductor. B is given by mu naught upon 2 pi I by R square into D. As you can see inside, mu naught upon 2 pi I and R will be constant. So B is proportional to D. So the diagram or the graph between b and d will be like straight line till it reaches the surface at surface when you reach you will get b is equals to mu naught upon 2 pi i by r at surface right and later on when you move away that is d is greater than r you will get b as mu naught upon 2 pi i by d that means here the 
केस विल बी हाइपरबोलिक सो इफ आई ड्रॉ द केस फॉर दिस वन आई विल गेट समथिंग लाइक दिस वेन यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आर आफ्टर दिस आर पोर्शन राइट दिस इज बी एंड डी रिलेशन सो वेन यू सी ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू कैन फाइंड द वेरिएशन एग्जैक्टली दिस इज बी दिस इज द डी डिस्टेंस दिस इज द आर सो हियर बी इज प्रपोर्शनल टू डी एंड हियर बी इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू डी सो दिस इज द ग्राफ विच इज बेस्ट सूटेड टू द कंडीशन लेट सी अमॉन्ग द फोर ऑप्शन विच इज द बेस्ट सूटेड ऑप्शन येस ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन I hope you have understood the questions very well and these were helpful to you. I wish you all the best for your results. Thank you for watching.